Welcome back to Sky Management. I'm Ross. Uh, today we are installing a lamp post for one of our apartment properties. For our apartment property, we wanted an inexpensive lamp post, so we just picked this one up on Amazon. It's a made in China. Um, I don't even remember the name of the brand, but it's not important. All of these things install the same way. They, uh, most of them have the same base, so this install will be the same for anyone that you pick. Uh, the one we will link down below has a dawn to dusk meter on it. Uh, at our apartments, we already have photo eyes on all the lamp posts that, that run them all together, so we didn't need a dawn to dusk one. In fact, it would probably screw it up, so uh, we went with one without it. Uh, for your home use, though, you probably want the dawn to dusk version, and we will link that down below. Inside the box, you have some instructions. Uh, if this is the only instructions that come in here, then you might want to watch the video because uh, this is not going to tell you a whole lot. Now, there's a template for setting the bolts in the concrete. If you do not have bolts already, we're going to be replacing an old post that broke, uh, so we won't be setting new bolts, but it does come with bolts that set in the concrete. If you are putting bolts into existing concrete, you'll need to use the template to drill your holes to set your anchor bolts into. Uh, if you're pouring your own concrete, this comes with the bolts for that, uh, and you can you set this template on top of it to hold the bolts straight while the concrete is setting. Next, you have your various post pieces. Uh, that it's probably a three-piece post; they all screw together. Let's see here. This is the base. This is what I was talking about. How the bases on all these are typically the same. So the one we'll link down below has this same exact base to it. Uh, it's a three hole that you put the bolts into. This is very typical, pretty standard. Here's another post piece. Uh, we have actually made some of these taller. If you wanted to have one that was like 10 feet tall, you can get an extra middle post that goes between these two and extend this thing out to like 10 feet high if you really wanted a tall one. This one came with light bulbs, which is nice. A uh, box of the, the hardware for setting it up, the bolts and stuff will be in here. And this is the lamp post heads. And this, we're doing it, do a uh, three light post. Here, that's what we have at our property. They are all three lights. That's also what we linked down below, is a three light if you want more or less light posts. And there are a lot of options on Amazon. This is the remnants of the old post that was broken off. The base was still attached to the ground and it's been just sheared off here. Uh, we rolled up the extra wire that we had, but the new lamp did come with the wire that runs up the inside of the lamp. So uh, we'll attach this new wire into these that come out of the ground and run it up to the top to tie in the uh, lights on the top. It's always important to note that when you're working on electrical to make sure that the breaker is off, which we have done, so the power is off to this to work safely. The bolts that we had in here with our previous lamp post are fatter than the bolts that came with the new one. So when we're lining it up with our template, uh, two of these line up, but they don't fit through the holes. And then one of them is off because it's been hit by a lawnmower and bent it, bent it over. So uh, we're gonna have to drill these holes out anyway to fit these bolts, to use these bolts that are already here. So we'll just have to drill this one out a little extra so that we can get the base on there. Yeah, that's the easy way to do it, and that's the way we're going to do it. Uh, you can always go back and cut these off, resync some new bolts and everything. But we even talked about cutting this one back quite a ways. But I think what we'll do is just we'll just waller out the uh, the base. Tighten down the bolts on the bottom to get this nice and snug. Don't over tighten it because you can crack this pop metal pretty easy. So be careful not to over tighten it. Uh, also, you want to make sure this is pretty straight up and down. Uh, if it's not, you can shim one side before you tighten it down. Uh, you want to get it pretty straight so that when the pole is on there, the light's not leaning off to the side. Again, these are not long enough because the other part had these feet in it. We're gonna tie on this wire that they sent us with, which is gonna make it entirely too long. But when we're done, we can either tuck the excess back in the pole or we can just cut it off. But 
the lights wire that it came with is already uh, already splice spliceable frayed there at the end so that you can twist it on there and I'm just going to be using the existing wire nuts that they gave us that were on here excuse me existing wire nuts that came on the pole they came with a pack of wire nuts over there that we're going to be using to attach the wire on at the top and once we get it slid on we're going to go ahead and slide this on here a piece at a time you got to make sure that your post we got our post grounded and all wired off there and kind of tuck him down tuck him down in there and sliding this over these three holes are going to line up with those and they give you the hardware to attach those in there which are these little nuts with the black bolts here i guess not nuts black bolts and we'll get those finger tied on there and then i'll go back and tighten those up with a with the tool that they provide. This is the third and final piece of the post part. We're just going to continue feeding the wire up through there. You're going to end up with some excess at the top, but like I said, we'll either poke that down in the light whenever you're done, or just if you got a pair of wire snippers, you can cut it off. Now, it's nice to hold on to the wires at the top so you're not just twisting the wire up in there. We have the top piece on now. But I can tell from looking at it up and down, maybe you can't tell from the video, but it's leaning that direction. And if you come, find something of substance like the edge of the building, and you can see the edge of the building is straight and this is leaning this way. So it's that corner there that needs to come this direction. And so we're gonna try to shim that. So you gotta loosen up the nut and then kind of have somebody help you push it back where you think you need to get it straight. And then we'll put something underneath the edge of it. And then we're gonna crank it back down. And then we'll look at it again. And it's kinda, of, you can't really tell when you're just doing one piece. You've kinda of gotta look at it. And now when we go look at it and see if it's any better. I mean, it's better. That's a lot better. Still maybe just a smidge, but I don't think you'll be able to tell near as bad. It looks about the same. When putting on the top piece, there's going to be a couple of, uh, some of these have a couple of screws. This one does, so I've taken those off. And it just reveals this piece is the next piece that's going to screw onto the top of our post. We've come to the point where it's time to put the lights on. Uh, there's two ways to do it. You can either screw this piece onto the top of the post with the wires coming out the top and then put the light globes onto it while it's on the post. I think it's probably better to do it while it's on the ground and then screw this whole contraption onto the top at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Uh, the nuts on these came on on them. Uh, some lights, depending on the brand that you get, may have a nut on this bottom one too. Uh, this one just has it on the top one. The lock washer will go on the inside of this piece too. So we're going to put it on and then we'll put the washer on and then the nut. All the wires will need to come out the top of the post and then we'll tie them all together on top. Uh, be sure you're putting the lights on right side up. The threads are on the bottom side of this thing. Okay, there's a good uh, example of this is not a good idea to do it on top of the post because I just dropped the nut through there and you would have lost it. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking doing this on the ground was a good plan. Yeah. Does that tool they gave us, uh, does that work with that? No. Um, we'll probably look for a wrench or a ratchet to maybe tighten down a little bit. I've got it on there finger tight and it's pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a different tool and, and tighten it down here in a minute and get a wrench. It's actually a 14 millimeter uh, size, but we don't uh, have a ratchet that's small enough to get in there. So we're using this 9 16 wrench and it gets it close enough that we can kind of tighten it down just a little bit. Again, much like everything else, you don't want to over tighten it, so just give them a few extra turns just to hold them on there. Those lock washers will help do quite a bit uh, to keep those bites onto that pot metal. As he's finishing that up, I'm going to go ahead and put these little finials on the end. 
They're just for decoration, but we'll go ahead and tighten those down before we put this whole thing up there. So just pulled the cord out the top. You've got all the extra little pieces pulled out the top, which we're going to splice together and just getting it spun around there. Again, hold on to the wires so you're not just twisting them together in there. Once it gets that thing twisted on, we've got these wire nuts right here that they came provided that work with smaller wires, but these are going to be smaller wires. We're just going to be bandling a few of them together there. So we'll get those put on. And coming to the tail end of this, you've just got to get your hot and your neutral lines or the white and the black colored lines here uh, done together. We've already done these white ones. I'm going to go ahead and do these black ones. You've got to take each one of these three, one that runs each of these lights, and the piece that we've fed through here that, that runs to the hot for the uh, power supply here. And we're going to twist those together and get all of them twisted together clockwise like that. And you're going to take your wire nut and put it on the end and just crank it around. And eventually it'll grab a hold of those wires and you'll feel it start tightening up. Now, I'm going to give an opinion here that it's going to be best to go ahead and put the bulbs in it, leave this the way that it is now, and go turn on the light and test it and make sure that it works. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't work, you got to find out where the disconnect is. And nine times out of ten, it'll be right there uh, where you've got your connections made because one of the wires popped loose. When you get the wire nut put on there, give each wire a little tug and make sure that they're all attached and there's not one that pulls out of there. Okay, I'm going to flip back on the breakers. And if you've got uh, sensors, you may want to give those a cover. Like I said, we've got uh, photo eye sensors, so go ahead and cover those over and then make sure that the light comes on. that it's come on. All three bulbs are working, which means this piece up here is spliced in correctly. So now I feel like we can comfortably tuck that back in and put the cap back on and do a little bit of cleanup work. And that's how you install a light post in your yard. Uh, we like this kind that has the open bottom so that you can change the light bulbs easily and it doesn't catch the bugs in there. If you get the kind that has the closed globe at the bottom and it catches all the bugs in it. So we like this kind that's open on the bottom. Uh, we have one step left to do to ours and that's to cut off the bolts at the bottom and to paint those but uh, we'll save that for another day. Thanks for watching Sky Management. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time.